Welcome to our A Shampoo Cinemagraph tutorial. Cinemagraphs are still photographs with minor movement usually running in infinite loops and saved as video files. It's the combination of still image and animation that instantly captures the viewer's attention. In the next minutes, I'll show you how to create your own cinemagraphs with A Shampoo Cinemagraph. What do you need to create a cinemagraph? First of all, you need video footage shot in a single location and, preferably, with a tripod to avoid camera shakes. You also need special software, in this case a shampoo cinemagraph, to turn your footage into a cinemagraph. I've now launched the program. To add my video, I can either drag and drop the file into the application or use click to open to import my video through the System File Chooser dialog. Once imported, the video will appear in the preview pane. The video editing functions are located on the right. I'll now use the brushes to paint over the portions of the video that should either pause or keep animating. The stroke can either be rounded or squared and supports additional fine-tuning to adjust its size, hardness and opacity. In this example, I'll first make the entire video area static and then mark individual portions to be animated. To mark an area, simply drag the mouse pointer over the underlying pixels. I recommend you adjust the brush size using the slider to match the sizes of the areas to be marked. You can also use the mouse wheel to resize the brush and zoom in for pinpoint pixel accuracy when needed. Mistakes are easily fixable by switching to the opposite brush and then painting over the unwanted markings. Right-clicking is the fastest way to switch between the static and dynamic brush. You can use the preview to review your modifications at any time and make adjustments when needed. The I button allows you to quickly show or hide your modifications. You can also add rounded corners with a custom radius and color to your cinemagraph in just a few clicks. If your video needs further optimization, you'll find the necessary tools on the right. This includes white balance to alter color temperatures saturation to modify color quality and exposure to compensate for poor lighting during shootings. When you're satisfied, click export to adjust format, frame rate and other settings for the final video file. GIF is ideal for videos to be embedded into websites, for example social media portals as it supports looping. MP4 creates files perfect for integration into other videos. Finally, click export to start the process. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. 
What other tutorials would you like to see from us? Use the comment section to give us your feedback. Thanks for watching and see you in the next A-Shampoo video tutorial.